praise God, praise God. All we can say is our God is good. Our God is so, 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 so good. Like this is not even a cliche. I hope that you believe it. If you believe it, you can just confirm it and just echo it with me and just say that God is good. God is good. You know, it's possible that, you know, some of us may be still struggling to believe that God is good. Or maybe we don't even know how to believe it or we don't even know how to say it. But now is a good time. <clears throat> and today is a good day by the help of the Holy Spirit to just help and do, do, do a quick work inside of us and let the Holy Spirit testify with our spirit so that we can affirm and confess that God is good. God is good. Um, in Psalms 92, verse 12 to 15, it says that the, the righteousness will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will bear fruit in, in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He's my rock and there is no wickedness in him. There is no wickedness in God. Like there is no wickedness in God. There is no wickedness in God. <laughs> there is no wickedness in God. Like there is no iota of wickedness in God. Do you feel like maybe you have waited for so long for something? There is still no wickedness in God. Do you feel like, like life is just generally hard? There is no wickedness in God. Do you feel like you keep on hearing about what the Lord is going to do or how the Lord is going to do a new thing, yet you can't see it? or feel it, there is no wickedness in God. Do you feel like, like you're losing or maybe you have lost something or maybe you have lost someone so dear to you or so, you know, something so important to your heart and it's so difficult to let go or it's difficult to heal? There is no wickedness in God. There is no wickedness in God. God is so good. And I pray that the Holy Spirit would just flood our hearts with light and bring us to that place of not just hearing that God is good, but bring us to that place of revelation that God is good, where we can boldly say it, we know it, and we can affirm that God is good, not in this season or not just only in the other season or the season to come. God is always good through all seasons. Thank you so very much, PI, for the opportunity to share. And thank you, the entire, you know, Hope 365 IAR administration for the opportunity to be here, for the opportunity to serve, for the opportunity to learn. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's really been a journey. It's really been a journey this last few years. And I'm very grateful. Like, I'm so, so, so deeply grateful. There's so much to testify about. Today is basically about testimonies. And, you know, when we're asked if we have a testimony to share, sometimes some people are open, some people are not. And some just sometimes we just don't even know how to share or when to share. Or sometimes we're waiting for that testimony to be, you know, Jim Jim, to be very ripe before we actually share. And um, if we look at the meaning of testimony, it's just simply a proof of something, like an evidence of something. But that's in general context. But if we look at, look at the biblical context, it, for me, I just simply define it as an evidence or testament of God's grace, a testament of, of his glory, a testament that can be seen and heard. You know, we are all a testament of God's grace. We are all, each and every one of us, each and every one of us, we are all a proof of God's glory. We are all a proof of his grace. We are all a proof of his mercy. We're like, it's so evident that nothing can form man, nothing can form us except the doing of God. So we are all testimonies. We're all testimonies. The Lord who has put his breath in our lungs, the one who keeps his engine, I, I, I refer to the Holy Spirit as his engine, the one who keeps the Holy Spirit running inside of us regardless, the one who knows us by name, the one who remains faithful to us, and just, just by his infinite mercy. So why would we not go over the rooftop to testify about him in our lives? You know, just like the, the, the Samaritan woman, we cannot, basically we're not the one writing our testimonies. 
the author and the finisher of our faith has the pen in his hand, but it is our place to read out, to show what he is writing about us. He's the author who owns, like, just imagine that the Lord owns the copyrights, the sole copyright over our lives. He owns the copyright over my life. As long as he's not finished with us yet, then we've got to keep on testifying about him. How will people get to read about him if we do not testify? How, do, how will people get to know about Jesus? How will people, how will we even, we, like when the storms come, how do we get our faith stirred and how do we stay grounded? when we're not reminded, when we don't share it, when we don't hear it. I remember Pierre always encourages us that we should steward, we should, it, it, even if it's another person's testimony, we need to steward it. We need to hide the testimony in our hearts. We need to go over them. We need to repeat them. We need to confess them. We cannot decide to share or with, withhold our testimonies unless maybe, you know, if, if the Holy Spirit restrains us or maybe in certain cases. But if we look at the word of the Lord in, in um, Revelations 12, Revelations 12 verse 10 to 11 says that, then I heard a strong, loud voice in heaven saying, now it has come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the power of Sorry, excuse me. Revelation 12, verse 10 to 11 says, Then I heard a strong, loud voice in heaven saying, Now it has come, the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren, who keeps bringing before our God charges against them day and night, has been cast out. He has been cast out out thank you jesus verse 11 says and they over and they overcame they conquered him by the means of the blood of the lamb and by the utterance of their testimony for they did not live they did not love and cling to life even when faced with death wow just like the samaritan woman where is our loud voice why are our voices not loud enough are we unsure or, or are we ashamed about what the Lord has done or what he's currently even doing for us? Let people say, ah, your own is too much. Is it just you that, you know, love Jesus or is it only you that Jesus loves? We need to remember that testimonies are not really, they're actually not about us, but about Jesus inside of us, Jesus for us. Jesus through us, Jesus with us. Our testimony is to just really reflect Jesus. Our testimonies must, they must shout Jesus. They must, they must scream Jesus. I believe that there is a, there is a spirit back in every testimony. There is a spirit back in every testimony. And if it is the spirit of God, as the Lord intended it to be, then the utterance of that testimony should cause something. The utterance of that testimony should cause it, like a ripple effect that the utterance of that testimony should manifest an expression that the, as the Lord purposes it to be it cannot just be be um, you know like a wow moment you know when we're hearing someone sharing a testimony we're just like wow it cannot stop there it's not supposed to stop as a wow moment testimonies are not just a wow moment and then we move on no no, we need to prepare our hearts. You know, like when someone is about to share a testimony, we're looking at how can I steward this? How, like I'm ready to, there's something to take out of this. There's something to lambano. There's something to take out of it. And at the utterance of our testimonies, there must be something. There must be, there must be deliverance. There must be triumph. There must be, there must be, like we must conquer. There must be, there must be a breaking of shackles as we are listening to. Have you ever experienced listening to a testimony and something is happening inside of your spirit, man? Testimony is supposed to bring healing. It's supposed to bring assurance. It's supposed to, supposed to bring freedom. It's supposed to reveal truth. It has to reveal something. It has to cause something. Something has to happen at the utterance of every testimony. Let us come with the understanding that, you know, with every testimony, even the motive of our hearts need to be right. You know, I like the scripture, Psalms 145, verse 11 to 12. And I believe that the motive of our hearts should be centered around this. Psalms 145, verse 11 to 12. 
It says that they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men your mighty acts and the glory of the majesty of your kingdom. I'm going to repeat it. Psalms 145, verse 11 to 12. It says that they shall speak, they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men your mighty acts and the glory of the majesty of your kingdom. The glory of the majesty of your kingdom. Do we realize that? that we can actually quench the Holy Spirit when we withhold others from being blessed by hearing about the glory of God, like about his goodness, about his faithfulness, about, about who he is. I believe that, you know, an expression of God is reflected in every testimony, in every testimony, it could be an expression of his mercy, like, wow, indeed, he's a merciful God. It could be an expression of who he is, like he is the great I am. We hear a testimony or we watch a testimony. We, it reflects, it, it reflects a dimension of God. It reflects a dimension of God. You know, we like to say he's, he is Jehovah overdue. So when, when we hear a testimony that seems impossible, like, wow. And, you know, he's one who doesn't just want to, want to do a part of something. He wants to overdo it. He wants to overdo it where indeed no finger can be pointed at man. It's just going to be Jesus all the way. Huh? Father, help us, Lord, that we be the ones that will not quench the Holy Spirit by how we feel, whether we're comfortable or uncomfortable. It's just going to be the, 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 the Lord will enable us to have that grace that at every, like we won't even wait for the opportunity. We just go forth to search out the opportunity to testify about him. The Samaritan woman did not wait to be asked what happened to her. She didn't even walk into the towns. It, the Bible says that she ran. She ran screaming at the top of her voice. Like she literally ran going to everyone, whether they wanted to hear it, whether they didn't want, they were not ready to hear about it. She just went all out because something shifted inside of her. Something shifted. So with this understanding, I pray that the spirit of prophecy that lies in the testament of God's grace just begins to flow through us in the name of Jesus. We are a delivered people. I mean, we're a people of truth. We have conquered. Everyone on this call can, can testify that they have conquered in one way or the other. We have been helped. You can testify. I know that I have been helped. I have been helped. You have been helped. We have been healed. We have been healed. We have experienced him as healer. We have been blessed. We have been forgiven. We have been shown mercy. We have been shown mercy. Would you like any of the expressions or dimensions of God that you have encountered to be reflected in the life of another soul? That's how there should be a bubbling inside of us. Like, wow, God has done this for me. I've got to make it known because another soul has got to encounter this. Another soul has got to experience this. So what is your testimony? What is your testimony? What is your testimony today? Just think about it. It shouldn't take too long to think about it because the mere fact that we can breathe, if that's all that comes to your mind this morning, you got to testify about something. If you've never testified before, I don't think, don't wait for someone to teach you how to testify, but let it just flow through you as the Holy Spirit enables you. Let us keep them coming and begin to thank the Lord for the testimonies, for the things that he has done for us. If you're comfortable, actually not if you're comfortable, if you would like to share, please just raise your hands, keep your hands raised, and then we can take some testimonies this morning. As we raise our hands, I personally would like to share, you know, a very brief testimony about how God has been extremely good to me like lord if you search my heart right now i'm so deeply thankful i'm like there's so many things so many things to testify about but most of all i'm very thankful for you know the journey so far i'm very thankful for you know the path that he has taken taken me sometimes you know 
We don't understand why God does certain things, but I'm so thankful because I know that there is no mistake in any path that the Lord takes us. I'm very thankful. Daily, it's a testimony. By the second, by the minute, it's a testimony. I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful. I'm very thankful for meeting PI. It was a very strange meeting, but I really thank God. I've been blessed to be a part of this community, you know, Hope 365. And by extension, I, I am so, so thankful. It's been a journey, you know, of obedience, of, of I've just been a life-changing experience from my prayer life to my giftings, to what service truly means to the kingdom. I'm so, so thankful it's really you know it's it's really like a, a journey i think it's it's in luke that says that whoever wants to be my disciple when jesus was talking about discipleship and says whoever wants to be my, my disciple you must deny yourselves take up your cross daily and follow me that's what the word of the lord says so we are to, we are called to die to our old nature daily the cross that we are to carry is the cross of dying to ourselves. And this reflects in everything that we do, our words, our obedience, our service, our character, everything. And it's honestly been a journey. And by this obedience, I believe that even so many lives on IRA has been imparted. I know that my church community here has been imparted. I know that even my family has been impacted by just this life of, of obedience. And I'm very, very grateful. I'm sure that a lot of you here can testify to the impact of this platform. And I will just like to encourage you to just share your testimony, share your journeys too. Remember that as we listen into testimonies, please prepare your heart and look for what am I going to get out of this? What expression of God, even as we share, what expression of, what expression of God do I want to portray? What expression of God do I want to express? And as the listener, what expression of God do I want to take out of this? What expression of God do I want to hold on to? May the Lord bless us as we all share in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Sister Olajumoke. You can please unmute your mic. Good morning, everyone. Good All right, morning. I want to just thank God for his faith. Yeah, I want to thank God for his faithfulness over my life. Thank God for his goodness. I joined this platform, I think it was on the first of November or second thereabouts. And um before I joined, um I discovered things were not really going as I wanted, and it was really a burden in my heart. And I'd gotten to a period where I told God, God, you just have to come in. So I had to do you know, some things I've never done before. Like throughout that November month, I said, God, I was going to really, really, really seek your face like never before. I waited mm -hmm. on the Lord throughout that month and I was a little bit consistent on the platform. And as God was going to have it, um, after that month, sometimes in December, things were still the way they were, but I was still trusting God and all. Before I knew it, somebody remembered me somewhere and got a contract mm -hmm. for me. And that contract, <laughs> I made profits in millions. Wow. And the whole year was very dry. The business was not going well and, you know, so many other things. And the levels how God just stepped in. And mm -hmm. I just discovered that when we really, really seek this God with all our hearts and mm -hmm. we are consistent in the place of prayer and we come with a sincere heart that he really answers. And it, it brought about a paradigm shift in my life. And I was just like, God, mm -hmm. if you could do this, if you could do mm -hmm. this, then there's, I've been cheating myself for so, so long. I just want to thank God because um, God used people, you know, you so many people have they've said so many things and they didn't know how it's um touched my life or affected me. I just want to thank God for all he has done and I pray for the grace to be consistent. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. We thank the Lord for what he has done. And indeed, yes, the grace to be consistent, the grace to be consistent in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for sharing. May the Lord perfect everything that he has started and that, and that as he takes you through seasons, you continue to just 
dwell on his faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for sharing. Still, Bukala, you can go ahead, please. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to thank the Lord for his faithfulness, you know. Um, towards the tail end of last year, my husband got his job. Not just one, he got more than two, three. And he was also able to negotiate very well because, you know, of course, when you get one, the others, you know, if they are asking, oh, come and resume, you're able to tell them that, no, I'm not because, you know, I have an, another offer and they're able to match the offer, you know. So mm. I'm just here to return all the glory to God. Also, also you know, the battle has been very fierce you know, over my marriage and everything. But I'm here to say thank you, Lord. I see the Lord is fighting my battle daily and not just fighting the battle. Victory is assured because, you know, things have turned around after in the place of prayer. So I'm just here to say thank you, God, because if, I, if it has not been the Lord, you know, what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turned it around. So I'm here to return all the glory back to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. What the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turned it around. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for perfection. Thank you so much for sharing this. Um, Sister Passy, yes. Yes, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I want to thank God for so many things. And Pastor, Pastor, can you increase your voice? I will increase the volume of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank God for, for my life. One. Hmm. I want to thank God for everything he has done in my family. Like, uh, hey, I don't know that God has done it to uh, my, my uncle. One. I want to thank God for my uncle. My uncle who used to be a drunkard. He sleeps in the bar. They comes every morning to tell us when I can't carry on uncle day for body. My uncle now is guarding his friends in the house. They are watching TV and preaching the word of God. I, I'm, I'm okay. like, I'm just so grateful for his life for that tremendous change. Okay. I want to thank God for taking me out of an accident that took away lives and kept me alive. I'm still standing today. And even when the thing wanted to become like something, God turned it around for my good. I want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for a kidnap case that came twice. God took, God took care of it for, for, for taking care of my bride. Even when he was kidnapped, God caused confusion and he was just kept somewhere where they went and found him sound. I want to thank God that I don't know what I could have said that I've done with somebody's child. I want to thank God for delivering my stepbrother. That was like two, almost like one week back. My stepbrother and family is not so badly. I don't know where, where they came from, where they were going. I don't know. All I know is that they had a terrible accident due to the snow and the car was damaged, like was damaged, but they came out, no scratch. Mm. They came out, no scratch. I, I mean, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for their lives. Okay, I, I, tell you, I want to, I want to thank God for, for through this prayer call, I received strength to stand in prayer for my son's health. And God came out, God came through tremendously. Like, Hudson is strong. Hudson that I used to be like, when I just see him, I just start crying. Hudson now, when I call, he's the first to tell me that, Mama, Jesus loves you. I'm like, yes, baby. I want to thank God for his life. And to crown it all, I want to thank God for coming through for me on Monday. I went to court, like I said, I was in, in an accident, a, a car accident. I went to court on Monday for the car accident case. It happened that I had a, I had a, a, an, an asylum case in court, which the file has not even yet been opened. I've never even gone to court for the first hearing before talking about the last hearing. As I went for that uh, 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 case, 
when they finished with that case and they gave us 45 minutes to go and bring them before the judge said he'll come back for the judgment. When he came back for the judgment now, he asked my lawyer that he's seen this name again in the system for an asylum case. My lawyer said, yes, I have an asylum case pending. Nothing has been done with it yet. Any, you know, the, the file has not even yet been opened. And the judge just went ahead and pronounced the case open there and there. I'm judgment and I won the case. I went to court. I won my hmm. case. I won all the two cases and I came out oh. successfully. I want to thank God and I want to thank PI for always shouting, read the word of God, know it for yourself, because that's what kept me in that corner. Because with all the shouting on my head, all I could do was cry. <laughs> But I can't remember that this guy like that would not help me if I don't call Jesus, you know. <laughs> and you, I, mean, I have to thank God. Like I said, I don't know how to do it. Nikki mm-hmm. has told me that if I want to cry, let me cry. So I've been spending time today crying and talking and crying, but that's what I have to do for the mental. I get the whole of myself. I just want to thank God, really. It's mm-hmm. been so good. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Sorry, sorry Nikki. Let me put context <laughs> for okay. That's the end. Um, we're gonna take all the testimony by God's way, but we'll do it very quickly. But I think we deserve to hear all that God has God deserves all the glory. So the father of our child was killed in one of the war crises in Cameroon. So after a while, she went to the United States hoping to bring her child. She went, she got to school. And then filing for those cases. But even the accident case, they took a license back, but it, it was reinstated that Monday. And all the cases are still was made permanent. Now, by the grace of God, she was in school last year. Remember when we were praying that the school all of a sudden woke up and said, How did you get admission to this school? And she was showing them all the admission and saying, We're thinking about it. The school called her, um, I think last month, gave her money, told her that, How ah, have you been coping? I mean, just crazy things happening. And we just thank God for his faithfulness. In Jesus' name, and our son and, is getting. And PI better. today, the school has sent me a, a a message asking when am I resuming school. What? <laughs> I will remember your testimony and you because the school situation. <laughs> so Patsy just kept reading because what happened is the school were telling her that we don't know how you got admission here. You should not get admission. But so she kept reading, she kept reading and preparing for and praying with tears and everything. Now first they gave her money which was random. The money passes, sold everything. <laughs> and then the next thing they, they've done, Lao, she's saying that they've called that back. Because yesterday we were chatting, like, ah, it's now the school to turn around. they called that back. So now to so resume the school. To give God all the praise. Hallelujah. But I follow, why did you drop your But I follow then. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please keep the testimonies coming. And Sister Pass, please, you can't be forgetting your, your testimonies. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Like, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. We're so excited. And yes, I hope that we can get different expressions of God from different testimonies that have been shared so far. All right. Um, I think the next is um, Sister Queen Ewell. Brother Fulu, please raise your hand. Good morning, everyone. Um. I just want to thank God. It's been more like an avalanche of testimonies and I've had the opportunity to share with um, 9 a.m. watchers, sorry, 3 a.m. watchers. Um, But um, I'm thanking God because between um, 2020 December and now there's been a, a, can I say, an astronomical, you know, um, difference of growth in, you know, walking with God. So last year during referral, you know, Apostle Femi, you know, prophesied into my life, spoke about the 13th of January, which I forgot about. And it was on the day that, you know, I had that encounter with God that um, Modupe was here, just said, did you remember the date I was screaming and I was shouting? He just talked about God working in my life, things going to happen, but it was not going to be the way I expected it to be. And, you know, my church, I've been going through like a series of fasting 
with God and I was already getting almost exhausted. But our church just completed a 21 day fast. And, you know, the second week, the Lord asked me to go on a water fast alone. Um, and um, he took me through. So on the second day of the water fast, you know, he first said 48 hours. And then on the 48th, the fact day, he asked for one day extension. And on the second day, while I was, I dropped the children in school, I got back home. Um, I was tired. The Lord said, pray. I said, Lord, I'm tired. He said, just pray. So I started to pray. I started to pray. I started to pray. And um, he just said, you know, the spirit of God just said, something is coming out. I said, something is coming out. I don't understand what was that. So I just started to pray, press in tongues. I was praying and praying and praying and praying. And then, you know, I've always known about deliverances, but I've never really, um, I'd been experienced deliverance twice by the Lord. But, you know, when God does deliverance on you, your case is settled. And right there and then while I was praying, I just felt like, a, like something heavy lifting off me. And, you know, there was a release. I started to cry. And then the Lord said to me, the, the, you know, that, that, that spirit that steals people, that covers people's glory has been lifted off you. I started to pray and, you know, just bless it. And since that instance, you know, you know, um, this, everything literally, like my desire for God, my desire to just be all out there talking about Jesus. I used to always be like, ah, please, I beg. My, my PI is anointed, let her continue. And then on Monday, you know, when I had the opportunity to share, it was obvious that, okay, this, I mean, because I'd never shared like that in my entire life. Um, there's also, he's also released the grace to obey. I used to be a grumpy child of God. He'd tell me to do something. I would argue, I would quarrel, I would object, I would do. But now I look forward to receiving instructions and obey. There's also been a grace released to just pray. Praying in tongues now is, you know, it's, it's, it's more like a gosha. It's easy for me to just pray one hour before I will be looking at the time, 10 minutes at the time never still pass. But it's just that grace, you know, to pray. I'm, I'm also trusting him, you know, for eyes to be opened and then to begin to really dig deep into the word of God. I'm also thanking him for the grace to come out. Now I'm out by, you know, by the, his grace and I'm out and I'm speaking about fitness God's way. Like if you see anything I'm posting now, it has to be with God for God in Christ. Everything, it just has to be God and nothing else. Um, I'm just thanking God for, for there's, there's just a lot to thank God for, but I'm thanking God for how he has, you know, renewed me from inside my spirit man i know there are things that will happen on the outside but i'm thanking god because there's this there's now this 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 is such a strong desire to just do everything to please god just to live for him the kingdom minded kingdom driven everything god i've never been in this space before and i just want to say very very big thanks to god to pi to this committee of believers and of course please permit me to be selfish to the 3 a.m watchers god bless you all Amen. Now, wow, this is the end watchers. Don't worry. Oh, then, so sorry, sorry, P. I forgot to mention. I'm so sorry. That that's one more testimony I need to share. Okay. This so, in the period where you know the Lord was just giving me instructions, He gave me a specific instruction to go to, to go to one of my mentor's houses to just He just told me raise an altar of worship. I've never done anything like that. Um, Sister um, Olubukala was also one of the people that we went together. We went there the first time. It was like I had never experienced the presence of God. In, I'd experienced it with in people's gathering, but like God sends us somewhere, and it was, it was, oh my goodness, it was a thick, it was a manifestation of God's presence. Then on the second day, because we have been praying for arts and entertainment, so I just need to also say this. Um, my mentor also was has been given um Clover Memorial Hall, you know, by the Lagos. Lagos State Government, which, you know, there was a lot of battle before she took, she was able to take over what we, we, you know, after praying in her home, we went, she invited us, we went there to go and like dedicate it. And that day was, oh my goodness, it was another day entirely. And then when she was praying and prophesying, because, you know, she started to say that, Lord, in this place, they had meetings for Nigeria, all the things that they had, the good intentions that they had have not come to pass, Lord, because we have come to take over again in this place everything concerning nigeria that you have that has been spoken here we release those words and you know they come to pass so i just want to thank god because uh, um god is really doing a lot here god is doing so much here and as many of us that are ready to really be used by god he will use it in ways that you never thought you know possible praise god Hallelujah. Sister Nikki, continue. I just help you talk one talk. Sister Mary, over to you. 
and we, we thank God, um, Sister Queen Ewo, for your testimony. We pray that you continue to experience God's presence, more God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, okay. Thanks, Sister Mary Ashanti. Please share your testimony with us. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for my life. I want to thank God for um, just this month. He's, he's been so faithful. Um, my sister delivered. It wasn't time, but God was faithful to us through the process. And she has a healthy baby. So I'm grateful to God for that. I'm grateful to God for healing. My mom was very sick for the last two weeks. Um, I had to travel for work, but I came back yesterday and I mean, she's she's doing very well. So I'm grateful to God for healing. I'm also grateful to God for a turnaround in my business. Um, it's just beginning of the year, but I can just feel that things are different and I'm grateful. Um, indeed, God says we should draw near to him and he draw near to us. And um, I'm grateful that I'm obeying that because I can see the difference in my life. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Um, we pray that the Lord will perfect everything that he has started concerning you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, Sister Debussy, please on mute. If you can. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Stanley Kay. Um, so I'm just really thankful today. Um, my testimony is just um, basically surrounded around um, this community, I area, and I'm just grateful to God for how he has ordered my step into, I mean, I joined the community at the time when it was all I really needed, like a community of people who loved God and um, who were committed to service to God. And uh, um, I have to say this in Yoruba, you know, I didn't have to join and up from different places before things were set straight for me. The first point of encounter was where God really needed me to be. So I'm thankful, I'm thankful to God first. I'm thankful to God for Pastor Missy for the leading, you know, because sometimes we think that because of the way that this, these things are these days, we just think it's easy for someone to stand up and say that I'm God sent and then you just start to, to over around. <laughs> it means that I'm thankful to God that I didn't dash my foot against the stone. I didn't stumble before I found a place where I needed to set my foot, you know. Sorry, it was just sweeter to say in Yoruba. Um, so uh, we believe that somehow it's easy for people to just be called and respond because unfortunately people have made a mediocre of, of what service to God really is. But I'm thankful, you know, because when you get to a place where there's sound doctrine and um, where there's um, teaching, you, your feet is set, and you are able to grow. And you're not, the truth is that you're not growing to, to pretend or growing to show to people that you are something that you're not. You're actually growing inside of you. Every part of you feels it. So I'm thankful for obedience. I'm thankful for you, Pastor Miss. I'm thankful for your family. Um, I'm also excited for you for the great things that God is set to do in you things that you never imagined. Every time when you think like you've gotten to the place where you really want to be, God shows you another chapter where you have not yet even walked upon. And I'm excited for you because greater things are coming. And I'm also grateful grateful to God, Ostaniki, Stabuki, Stafulu, um, 
Well, the reason why people don't always mention names is because you might get to a point where you miss out on things. I mean, everyone is greatly, really important. But first, I just want to thank God for the admin, you know, they're there all of the time. You know, sometimes this thing isn't easy, but I'm grateful for strength. You know, I'm grateful for honor in the lives of these people. You, you speak with them, there's respect. You know, we um, and, and those are the things again. When you come to a community where there's mutual respect, you you find that you are able to be the person that God has called you to be. You know, there's no air, uh, there's everyone is it's just free flowing. So um I, I, well, this testimony I'm sharing is is a testimony for for the soul and for the enrichment of the spirit. So if it does not resonate with you in some way, you'd need to again. I'm also testifying in advance for people who are not really pressing into what God is doing in this community. Maybe while like Waka passes, there's a lot more that God is doing in this community. So many great, great things that God is working out in us. And, you know, if you just stay in and stay on, and God has released the grace there is a grace upon this community. So if the if if you are not if you've not tapped into the grace, it's just because maybe there's just something missing, and God can help you find it. And I'm also thankful for everyone who has uh, this family has been a blessing to me in a lot of ways. I've gotten money, I've gotten gifts, I've gotten free hospital consultation. Even people don't even know how many things that I've gotten from this community. I've gotten a great opportunity for partnership for my business. I, I don't say am I the only one, but I, I wish I could even just go and go on mentioning, but so much blessing has come forth and I'm really, really grateful. And why? Why is because when you find your feet in the right community, everything just seems to align for you. Yesterday during the Bible study, we're reading about Amen. Amen. And you know that when Aman, the king had already said Amen will be killed, then he came back. A man was trying to beg Esther to beg on his behalf. And then he came back and saw a man in a position where he thought, ah, ah, does this man want to kill my wife? So the, the death came quickly. And that's the thing. Somebody who was already destined to die. Or see, my story is the story of somebody who was already destined to be favored, who then found herself in the midst of people who God has brought to to, to favor. So, I mean, it's it's a great thing when you're in a point in your life and you find a community that you can rely on. I thank you, I thank God for sisters and brothers that I've made here. Some I have not seen, some are bad. I mean, Sister Falaka was in Nigeria the other day and, you know, it always feels like we've known each other for a very long time, Minister Fulu. Quite a number of people that I've not met before. I mean, I've met a lot of people i've still not met some people but when we talk when we chat it's almost like you know we all know each other the way it is even in my house when we have bible study if i doze off you know sometimes this is our work or is it you know when i doze off my husband would say better wake up for bible study so it's it's now a pattern it's a life that um every and you know when you start to live that kind of life everyone around you accepts it and so i'm grateful to god grateful for god for this child grateful for god for all that is doing, for the spirit that is building, the unity that is building. People turn up for prayer call every now and then. It takes great strength. People are at work and they turn up still. They can't unmute, but they are plugged in. See, there's something I understand that we're hey, Let me just say this one. I understand that we're busy and everything, but there are sometimes when at every eye, you're just tuned in and hearing something that glorifies the Father and tunes you into what's happening in your environment. You don't can think I'm not saying anything. Ah, but when words enter into your ears, it's and see what happened to your mic. Things that you have heard. So I'm grateful to God for this community. I'm grateful. Is it just me? I can't hear again. God for. Hmm. She's fine. Okay. Thank you all. God bless you. And God continue. Sister, okay. you see, we can't really hear you clearly. <laughs> can't hear you again. Oh, yeah. Okay, while we're waiting for the BC, I'm okay. going to read Sister Ademi Doon's um, testimony. Wow. Um, Adi, what Ademi said is, is unbelievable. Um, truly, um, Sister Fala Kemi came. She, she, I didn't even know. We didn't even know ourselves. So I, I went to a meeting. I'm I, I saw people looking at them. I said, oh my God, I, I, are you, you are to say, Mabi, with pictures. It was such, it was so humbling to see. And the lady came, she came to Nigeria for something. She's based in the Netherlands. And she visited, and I'm just looking at people that I've never met before, acting like they know themselves since 
1801. And as we're saying this, the Lord just reminded me, this is what I saw in Bethel. This is what we have always done, but I saw in Bethel and I desired it, connected to it. I kept praying for it, that people would just find a way to plug in. So if you are here and you're still praying for community, this is community. Just pray to God. You don't have to fake it out to force it. It will happen. But this is easy to, because she's almost in all the prayer watches. So you have to even just, yeah, but you want to pray as if she's, she's fighting war. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so um, I was just, I didn't know that you couldn't hear me anymore. But <laughs> last time. So let me just round up to say that I'm really, really grateful to God. And I mean, grateful for a leader that is so open, friendly. You know, we joke around a lot and, and still yet when there's need for the fire, the fire is there. So we're grateful to God for faith. Grateful to God for fire, grateful to God for a community that can calm your fears. We've had people pray for dangerous things, and we've also seen God answer terribly. And it's just, it's it's great to see. So I encourage everyone, if you're still looking around, you, you might as well take this as your home. This is now home for me, you know. And even if I decided to leave, I don't know how many people will even come from the UK to knock on my door. I'd like to see that, but yeah, it's, I don't want to leave because it's home. And I pray that you find your home and I pray that your faith is built on something as strong as God's own community. Thank you all so much. Great love. Man. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister. Oh, sorry, Pierre. No, go ahead, Sister Buki. Zabuski. Pierre, what are we going to do with all this? With Sorry, sorry, but with all the testifiers. Oh my goodness, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no, we're going to take Let's do it this way. We're going to take it one more minute, very quick now, if we can, all right? So, okay. let me go to the Shiloh style. What has the Lord done for you? <laughs> yeah, it permits me to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. God has been good. God has been I'm good. Now. The time is fantastic. Give God praise. The weather is getting more friendly. I want to thank God because God has been good. I don't even know where to start. I have a lot of testimonies, but I want to thank God because it's been more like triple, quadruple, quintuple. I can't count them all. Celebrations. Celebration, celebration in January. January is a celebration month for my family. More for my, you know, my big family. It's my, I, I marked my 40th birthday on Sunday, 23rd January. Uh, my parents' wedding anniversary was on the 24th. My daughter's birthday will be on Sunday, on the 30th. I just want to give God thanks for sparing my life you know, and making me to see this age. I give him all the glory. I want to also thank God for planting me in himself and unfolding unto me, you know, this faith journey that it is only being by his grace. God is building memories. He's doing amazing things in my life. I'm grateful to him. Through the ups and downs, he has been faithful. I thank God for my marriage because God's hand is upon my husband and upon me and things are turning around and things are changing. His health is being impacted. His, uh, his mind is being blown. I just want to thank God for every good thing that he has done. To God be the glory. And for Vietnam, thank God for the gift of men. I want to thank God for the gift of men. God has been good. God has been good. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, do they speak English in Vietnam? Sorry, like, is that the... Yes, they do. Interestingly, they, they are all hustling to speak English. <laughs> right. Amazing, amazing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Brother Folu. Good morning, everyone. Just going to be very quick. Good morning, PA. I just want to... So awesome, awesome. The testimonies are just amazing. I want to thank the Lord for the impact of I IRA on my Christian journey. I am so, so, <laughs> I don't know what this comment would be, help me. 
I want to thank the Lord. Um, the, the impact in my life has been huge. It's been really major, a very powerful impact. Um, one way I think I said that before is to say how God has used PI and this family to fine tune me. You know, I'm grateful when PI talks about activating the prayers, the word, you know, prophecies. And I'm just so grateful, so encouraged, so impacted. It's, it's really, really a blessing. And I just, it's just that one word where it seemed like maybe my signal, as it were, has been a bit fuzzy. But coming to IRA and hearing PI speak, I mean, like something Sister Debussy said, you just feel so connected to people you have never even met before. I'm so grateful. And I'll always remember my, my own pastor, Christine, sending me the link. And ever since I just joined in, I think even the first time I joined in, um, PI prophesied over me and it's just been awesome. I, you know, I feel like those are blessed grammars in church. I just feel like raising a song, but I won't raise a song. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh God, you three AM people, I'm coming for you. I must set my alarm this morning. This today, today, I must attend. Now, wow. All right, so good. I really got the praise. Thank you so much, Pastor Christine, for helping us drag our brother. Home. I will. You don't know all the other friends you need to share the link with to help them as well. Sister Lalaba. Good morning, PI. Good morning, everybody. Wow. I just want to thank. Can you hear me, ma? Ma, yes, we can hear you, ma. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to God for His faithfulness, and I want to say thank you, PI. You know, I towards last year, I thought God had stopped talking to me, and you, you PI. I don't know if you remember. You keep saying that we should not bust God that we should allow him to speak to us in the way he wants to, not the way we, we are used to him speaking to us. You know, if, one, if I want to enter a new year, that's the way I, I like he speak and I write things down. But last year, nothing like that, you know. But the only prayer that keep coming to my mind was, God, what do you want me, what, how do you want to speak to me in this season? What way do you want to use? I keep saying that prayer in my mind. And I thank you because you really lay emphasis and that was what I stood on. Um, I've been trusting God for another car for my business. I'm a personal shopper. And, um, you know, I thought the car would come in June I because I prayed, I so see that I did everything. But, you know, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, December 31st, a friend called me. And she said that um, they have this Sienna that they've packed for some time now that they needed to sell it over and my name came to mind. And she said, her husband said, the Sienna is for 1.5. I said, eh. But she said, ah, mobile call me, I said, it's 1.2 that you're going to pay. At 1.5, oh, at 1.2, I have 1.0. I don't have anything. So, you know, you know, in my mind, I was just like, hmm. I didn't drag, I didn't price, I didn't do anything. I just told my husband. But one thing I said is, Father, I want testimony. If you can wait, if, if you can like, let me, don't let me, let me say delay. If you can delay me to 31st, it's, I'm sure it will be a testimony. And you know, that was on the 31st. On the second, I saw a text message, a chat, sorry, from WhatsApp, from her. And she was like, eh, eh well, her husband came. And they said that uh, the car now is for 800,000. Ah, I just like, and now that, can I call you? I said, because I didn't understand what you are trying to say. I didn't bargain, 34th, second, 400,000 off like that. Ah, even the 800, I know I don't have it. So she, and I now called her, she now said, don't worry. My husband won the money before this, this time, but don't worry, just, I will use, I will pay on your behalf you can pay me later. And that was the testimony. That was the testimony for me. The car, I didn't plan that it would come in 2021. It came, you know, before they could even say, Jack Robinson changed their mind. I said, oh, come, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
let's go and pick this car. So I picked the car and I thank God, everybody that sees that car, we are amazed that, wow, this is a testimony. It can only be God because of what Dollar is saying. And that this car is just a gift. My younger brother said, they didn't sell this car to you. It's a gift. And I want to thank God for his faithfulness because he keeps showing himself strong. And secondly, on Monday, you know, I keep, I'm so sorry, please, P.I. I I keep, uh, anytime I'm going out, if I'm going to the market on my street and when I come out of my side, I, 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 I love to pick children on the way so that I, I can drop them in school. So this was, it, um, I think on Tuesday, as I was going, that, that money was unusual. That money was so unusual for me. I've been praying, 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 praying. So uh, that was around past eight. I was just, I was, so a friend called me, then we're praying together. So I was just, oh, oh, what, what we're praying for was even for what I was saying. I was just saying the presence of God is palpable in our midst. That was all I was saying. And, you know, I got to a street. I saw a, a secondary school girl. She should be in like maybe SS2 or SS3. She should be like 15, 16, 17 years. So I was feeling strong. I said, let me help her. That she's going very far and she's trekking. So I said, come. She was even happy, smiling. But I didn't stop praying. I was just using my hand to tell her what to do. So I opened the door. She, she opened the car. And I told her where to sit. She sat at the back. I didn't stop praying. My friend didn't stop praying. But the, the girl just shouted, as in, I've seen such in film, not in real life. And she said, my chest, please, please stop this car. I have to come out from this car. I have to come out from this car. Please stop it. I was like, ah, nothing was wrong. You were even happy when you entered. She said, just stop it. And she couldn't look at me anymore, you know? And unfortunately for her, yeah, when she was trying to drag the, the door of the car, it's jammed. So I have to come down, open the front door, drag back this, uh, the front seat, and I say, I'll come out. And a guy was looking and said, Come down, come into this car, relax. Said, eh? Which car? No, I'm going. Oh, I and I just want to thank God for his faithfulness. I want to thank God for his presence and for what he's doing with me at this season. Thank you, PI. Thank you, everybody on this platform. I'm grateful. God bless you. Oh, um, thank God for, we, we thank God for your testimony. You already have someone who is ready to sow a seed into your car, Sister, yes, sister so Laura. I got very well. <laughs> so please. Uh, I want to sow and believe in God for a car back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please connect, connect with Sister Lola. We thank the we thank the Lord for your testimony and we I pray. Like to... ah, oh, you already have two people, Sister Lola. Oh, we bless God. We bless God for your testimony. Um, you, we bless God. The Lord will continue to surprise you in Jesus' Stop name. Please, sorry, I know I've taken so much time. Sorry, <laughs> you know, I was like fighting the Holy Spirit to share this. I was like, ah. What's it been now? Ah, some people knew about this. So why do you want me? the Holy Spirit just say just say it? Thank you. God bless you. Wow. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sis. Okay, the next person here is Sister Sister Chidima. Please unmute your mic and remember Chilo style. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I want to thank God for the privilege and opportunity to obey um, in my business. Um, part of the leadings I got on how to um, shine the light was to um, print cards containing words and scriptures and um, add to customers' um, orders. And at first, I felt like, Lord, I hope they won't feel like this is um, too much, but I just had to obey. And I want to thank God because the feedback in the recent time has been mind blowing. Like customers, you know, reaching out to say, wow, that 
the words were confirmation of something they had been talking to God about and how some would say how it was just the word they needed at the exact time. And many times they won't even be, you know, giving feedback on the product. It will be feedback on the word. And it really blew my mind. So I just want to thank God for that. I also want to thank God for um, last sometime last week um, when I was praying for some people. And one of the persons I was praying for, you know, in course, during the course of the prayers, God said I should gift the person something. And so I messaged her and I had never done that before. So I messaged her and asked her to send me her details and all. And she was asking why, what happened. And I just told her that it's just like a divine instruction I got. And she was all tears calling me, she was so emotional. And she was like, wow, this has never happened to her before. That so she, that God, so God actually sees her. And it really made me, you know, I felt, I felt her because sometimes, you know, we might feel like, does God really see us? And so for God to lay it on my heart to be a blessing to her, and she was all emotional, crying and all. And I just want to thank God for her and also thank God for the opportunity of being a blessing to her. I also want to thank God for strength. Um, while leading the 3 a.m. prayer watch yesterday, uh, this morning rather, I was exhausted. Like I, I was even thinking of how to reach out to Sister Davis and say, I may not hold the watch. But for some reason, and it has happened several times when I feel so weak, during the course of prayers, I feel so strengthened that after the prayer, I feel like a new wave of strength was released to me. I feel so strong. I feel so energized, way better than I was when I started the prayer. So I just want to thank God for strength. And yeah, that's it. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you, sis. The Lord will continue to um, renew your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for grace to continue to obey his instructions in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, um, Sister Sharon, please unmute your mic. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'll, I'll try and be as quick as possible. Um, so I think the first thing I just want to thank God for is um, just this platform, really. I can't really explain how I found myself here. <laughs> um, the Holy Spirit does that sometimes. But uh, anyway, I've been joining since I think somewhere in October towards November. Um, and what I want to thank God for specifically is just, you know, all the people who lead and um, the activations and the prophecies I've received, very specific prophecies and words and confirmations um, from this platform. Um, I remember, I think when Friends Pray, there was a session at the end of it, which I joined. I don't even, can't even remember why I joined it, but then I got some really poignant kind of um, prophecies and words and that were very timely and um, so I just want to thank God for that um, and then also one of the activations on Saturday somebody gave me a word about um, a job and I had been I had been in a transition um, last year where God was transitioning me to a different level he'd spoken about promotion and so on but I needed a bit more clarity on what kind of role um, sometime during the year I remember I was reading Pro Proverbs 31 and this scripture came stood out strongly to me and at the time I didn't really understand it but it was about you know she's like the merchant ships and she brings her her country her house's food from a farm paraphrasing um so and then another word that came towards the end of the year was that you know the year is not done God is not finished he wants to do something and I'd already given up I was like ah, maybe this thing will come next year um but somehow I, I got a position a couple of days before Christmas, and I testified about that towards the end of the year. Um, but it, it's what it's also the type of position. So it was a promotion, it was an increase, but then it also tied back to that word I received in Proverbs 31, because it's actually a shipping company, it's a well-known global shipping company. So it's just like an, an elevation on a different scale. Um, so I just want to really thank God um, for this platform, for being so in tune with the spirit, for being so dedicated and just the community and everything. Um, thank you so much. And I'm just really grateful to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, for anyone who, who is trying to transition, who's looking for a job, we tap into this testimony, we steward it, and we pray that the Lord will also surprise you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, okay, Sister Tosi, your turn. Please unmute your mic. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you so much. I'm really happy to have the opportunity to speak this and then to give testimony. My, my bunkie. <laughs> so yeah, my testimony has been a more than like more than 10 years ago. Right? I've been a beneficiary of um, the work of God through pastor in this. So we went through school together, you know, in the same class and everything. Although sometimes I blame the fact that I, you know, I didn't tap you know, into it so well, but I was so blessed because we used to talk about the feeling of purpose and it was so clear in our head what God called us for. And she has always been in voice. The Lord has used her to bless so many. She has been a voice of reasoning spiritually in my life. She tells me even, you know, my second child when I was going to have my boy, she told me about it when I was going to have a help that could harm the house. She saw it before it was happening. She would just wake up and you know, she called me. Even in the dream, she would invite me for an event and the next I come online, I'm like, ah, there's an event and she just told me, you know, that's how deep God has placed her as, you know, a woman of God over my life. And I thank God for every expression that the Lord has used to bless me. So over the years, um, Yes, I'd been confident in what God has called me to do, but based on the platform and, you know, the information regarding knowing God, knowing God for yourself, she keeps saying that reading the word and digesting it, so you can be a person of confidence and have the purpose all clear and all, you know, what God has called you to do, but if you do not hear from me part time, right, you will just miss it or you want to go at everything at the same time. So I think um, what the morning prayers have done for me again for a couple of months now is to make everything clear back to back. I have been so, you know, results have been happening in terms of, in short, managing my life. God has helped me to do, I can do like five things at the same time, managing different stuff. And he has helped me to pull through. The various expressions is putting me through now really, it's been, you know, when you're hearing directly from God and he's just telling this out too about it and everything is just coming out well. I thank God for this platform. I thank God because I really always feel somehow if I don't get to attend it because I'm like, this is there's something here for you. There's always something to hear from God every day on this platform. And based on the activation that we started, I pay more attention to the spirits than to the body now. So now if I want to move, I'm like, okay, God, are you saying that I should go there or I should just go back? Right this morning, this we just said, don't, don't take your car. I'm like, ah, car is okay now. And he just said, and I don't know what it is, you know, and I had to call an Uber and I, I'm, I'm taking an, but that's in a while, right? I've not, and that's how late it is. My car, my kid got locked in my car two days ago. That's how fast God just results, results stuff. And instead of me to go near to the near, near to the car, I let them call somebody to come and you know pull it out, um, put something in to open the door and everything. And as I got there, the person already came. You literally just said you doubted me, right? You didn't come near the car. Open the car, the car is opened, and I opened it, and it was open. And everybody looked at me that so is there something working with you? So God works with us when we are with him. He's so real. I feel it. Thank you so much, PI, for yielding the call and for being, you know, a voice of reasoning at every point in time spiritually. I'm so blessed, really. I can't just, you know, it's coming out of my eyes already because I've been blessed for so many years through you and I keep coming back. Yes, we are friends, but I take you as a woman of God that God has sent to my life at every point in time, right? everything just is falling in place. So I thank God for this platform. And I hope everyone here that you're thinking, I want to experience something. Really, this God is here. God is here. I will say it again, God is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Oh, thank you so much, Tosin. That's my book. I wonder, she didn't want me to have boyfriend in school. I must say it outside. She said, Lila, you're too pure. No, no, no. Missy, no boyfriend, please. You just have to, we don't want you to spoil it. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is love you so much. Thank you for being invested. No, I need to do before I wrap up. Go ahead, I need to do. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so I, I just want to thank God for this platform. I want to thank God for, for God leading me to PI and um, asking me to join this platform and it has been a blessing. And, you know, since everybody had been sharing that testimony, I was just trying to put words together. And one thing that God said that what one of the things that this platform has done for me, it has collapsed time for me. What I was, uh, what, um, what would have, what should have taken me five years to achieve? I've done this platform for about one year, about three months, and God really compressed time for me to be able to learn so much in 
a short while. And I be, if I look back at my life in who I was one year ago and to who I am right now, as in there are two different people that can't even stand by side by side. So I want to thank God for growth, as in the growth is very evident that I can see and tell. And one of the things that I have learned in this platform is not just, you know, sometimes to talk about, but you know, when Joyce was talking about structuring last week, I know, I think three days ago, and I was supposed to have a meeting for, I was supposed to go into a partnership meeting and all of that. So everything Joyce was talking, these people were learning people, they did accounting, you know, they have PhD and I did science and um, I have just my BSc and all of that. So everything that I've learned from structuring from Joyce, you see the way I was just telling them, blah, 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 I was just measuring SOP standard of, everybody was just looking at me, at this girl, because before now, one of the people that I was going to partner we already called me i have to prepare myself because this person is a very intelligent person i say away Abba. Ah. so before i joined all i knew was i tried reading but as i was reading the Holy Spirit said drop is that that is not what you need i prayed i just said everything that joyce mentioned how to you know uh, structure your business everybody know what they need to i was just saying it pa, 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 pa. and it was like wow wow fantastic well wow, i really loved that i said ah Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank God I joined Yari. This is where I'm learning my own MBA and all of that. So I just really want to thank God. I got into the partnership very swiftly and it was just like, I just getting knew what she wanted to do. And it was just not, everything is just what I've learned. I was just bringing everything together, what I've heard from you know everybody here about business strategy and everything was just coming back to me like that. And I just want to thank God because when I look about this this personal trip thing, I'm the I'm the I'm the okay. I joined the company last, and you know the way everything is just looking. I was just I'm just thanking God that this is just God. It is not by my doing or by anything. And what PI is to encourage us that whatever you do, do unto the Lord has always been my watchword. I do the business as though I'm the one. If I went customers and clients meet me and I tell them that I'm not the owner of the business, they'll be like, no, you're laughing. If I, some of them would tell me that, I'm, no, you're lying. It's a lie. You're coding. And I'll tell them, no. I've seen people insult me that, why am I coding? You're the owner of the business. I'm not the owner of the business. But I always remember everything that whatever you're doing, do it unto the Lord. So I've learned a lot, not just Bible things or spiritual things. I've learned how to deal with, you know, secular people and, and all of that. I just want to thank God. I've been blessed spiritually, emotionally, if everywhere. As in here is just where you you get a buffet where you get to have everything. You pick it, not just. I I just love it. I I, I just I love this platform. I can I can trade it for anything. I can I can trade it for anything. So I just want to thank God for this platform, and God bless PI and everybody. Please everybody this year 2022. Please take in. Everyone that Pia is bringing, whatever buffet that she's, if we, this year we are going to emotional intelligence, please grab it. Everything, everything. So I just want to thank God for everyone, everyone on this platform. God bless you. Ah, I said, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God bless you, Noni. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Ah, we have two more people. Ah, where did this book come from? What do we do, Nikki? What do we do? All right, can you do it? So we'll wrap up. We must, eight o'clock was not bad. I'll be by. Let's All take right. everyone more. All right. Okay. Sister Mobolanle, Atobali. Yes. Atobali. Good morning. I, I just thought that you would be a great travesty if I do not testify and you just say something. I was just really grateful for all that God is doing in my life. Um, for a long time, I had been struggling with um her productivity and it really was giving me a cause of concern i remember i got a prophetic word one time that i was showing up at 20 to 25 percent capacity and to people around me they thought i was really working but i knew that i could do more but really was just one thing that you know i i literally have felt like the cloud lift um and also i don't while not trying to overflow what people have said but i'm really grateful for this platform i'm grateful i'm grateful for the teachings i'm grateful for the men of god that i would never 
would have had a, a common contact with, but you know, but who would have been privileged to be blessed by their teachings, their, their practical wisdom, you know, like see the, the last few days that we've been having the feed for purpose, it's just been amazing. I think this is one of the very few platforms that if I miss in the morning, I always ensure during the course of the day that I listen because it, there's always this thing about, oh, you cannot afford to miss the teaching. And I think lastly, it would be just to thank God for PA. Um, thank God for answering the call. Thank God for the fervency you bring. You know, I just it's just something that I feel that God will say, she can do it, then why can't you do it? And also for the expression, when Fred Spray, I went for when Fred Spray Abuja, it was honestly. I just thank God for that. And then the Lagos one, which I wasn't meant to be at, but I didn't know that God had it set up for me uh, there. So I really just want to thank God for this, you know, this privilege to be on this platform and, you know, all the things that God sent me here. And I literally can see the reason why. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hallelujah. I'm so sorry for trying to mother, uh, not pronouncing your son in way. Sorry, my Yoruba is in Trini. God bless you. And how is the grant and the going? Get ready for more grant too. In Jesus' name. Yeah, thank you. More are actually like literally lining up literally, but wow. I'll come back to testify when that is. We'll get them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Orwa Kemi Rufai. Okay, good morning, everyone. I have so many things to thank. Am I allowed to go with Isukima? Help us lift it up. Okay, sorry. I have so many things to thank God for. But I'm just going to praise God with this song. It says, Onokwe mi kwa Muma more oluwa Onokwe mi kwa Mi oli shala idupe Iye Olorunwa Obatongbo adura Ogoye olorunwa Obatongbo adura Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, stake me. Inkote bere yo ye kekpari ye. The anointing that you just shifted the atmosphere. Like, you just... You just shifted us. Wow. Glory be to God. Sakemi, I need to see you say full. Please. Let's see. I just want to thank God. I want to just celebrate God. God is indeed faithful. We need more of that song, right? She's going to end up. Sakemi, just stay by the corner. Is you that will wrap up with that worship. <laughs> and the link to listen to it. Yes, yeah, so we need more song. I'm going to I'm going to call her. Don't worry, guys. She's going to come to the office and sing with it. We'll record it and upload it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, Nikki was just reminding me. I got some testimonies in the chat box. I want to sing it to Abby. Uh, I just want to bless God. You know, I've had all kind of emotions. I've been lifting my hand. I'm being like I'm pushing the ceiling. Nikki just sent me a message. That I remember this platform. Nikki, what is it? Nikki I, I wish I can always scream much what Nikki does. Ma, it's from you, ma. I'm going to cast you. You can cry too, ma. Please don't hold it back. Oh, let it flow. <laughs> Bishop was preaching. Nikki was sending me a message about Bishop's voice is sweet. I'm going to just put it out there. Now, that's what I saw. That when I said yes to Bishop. Can you imagine? Anyways, I just thank you. I thank you for your life. I, and Nikki can understand. I met Nikki on social media. I preached somewhere and Nikki watched it. Oh my God, the tears are about to come. I, I, and Nikki watched the message and she said to me, she sent me a message afterward. Later, years later, she told me she didn't, she was standing in a position in her room. She didn't know how she got to the other side of her room. Her eyes were shut just listening to the message. The message was about to, was on Instagram Live, was about to run, was about to end just hours before it ended. And from Nikki coming in, she brought her sister and then she's always shaking, crying. People didn't understand what was going on with her. <laughs> Nikki brought her sisters into the fold and from bringing our sister Nikki brought our old village our family our, and then when we started school of intercession that's where 2020 and Nikki I've never met before basically you know and um um when we started it was just three people for over two years we we're just between three and six on this same platform that we've had almost 200 people we've had different people and you know there are times when we had the 24 I remember the first or two 24 hours prayer we did it was just us and I only could get up to physically go and eat while either Nikki or Buki or somebody else was taking the prayer 
I just want to use just celebrate God. You know, when the Lord yesterday, while I was just looking at our, um, I was just grateful to God. This has been an amazing journey, even for me. I've seen how God has just miraculously blessed us. I remember God saying to us, never don't charge for anything as regards the O365 platform, I already don't. And it felt awkward, like, good, really. Okay, let's do it. And um, the network we're going to, someone that's paid for the entire year, um, we're going to be doing the launch. I'm like, God, look at what you're going to do for this launch. How are we going to, how are we going to be doing this thing like this? And God said, if I've done it this far. And yesterday, we were looking at our, our expenditure for the month. I'm like, wow, even the financial person was, Blown. like this is what we are spending and then i knew that we still had to employ more people because <laughs> work is increasing and then the next thing that happened was someone was speaking to me testifying of how the lord blessed her with a job she's been trusting god someone on this platform as well i said oh, by the way the pi the lord told me i know that i'm supposed to pay for salary the lord told me to also take care of some people i'm just saying it in advance so that by the time i start earning i'm going to do it and the person's not in the country, but I know that it was something God mentioned to me that he said, don't worry, if I need to raise stones, I will do it. And I've seen God do that over and over. While that was going on, I mentioned that we needed laptops. Somebody has already reached out against me yesterday. I said, ah, yeah, how much those laptops I say we need? Let's let me be seeing how I can contribute every month to towards that. I'll be getting it gradually. I'm telling you that years ago, I thank God this journey is a journey of um, 15 years. This year, I'm going to be celebrating 16 years as an itinerant minister. And 16 years, we started the ministry. And um, I remember just sitting down, asking the Lord years ago, God, how do we fund this? I think it was in 2016 or 17. How do we, fund? because it's just different. And the Lord said to me, Acts chapter 2, everyone will bring what they had. Acts chapter 2 is the only place, one of the places in scripture that there was no need. The Bible says that the Lord put it, they brought people brought in. There was no need. There was no need in the church. And it always blew my mind. Like, God, how can we get there? And I've seen people. I don't know how people know themselves. People, I don't even know what's happening behind closed door. You know, say, ah, this person, we just pay for this person. Oh, this one just, I'm like, what is going on? I have no idea. You know, the lady that came from Netherlands, I was seeing her. It was somebody on this call that was telling me that she was around, that she's coming to the office because she doesn't know I was around. I'm like, God, what are you going, what are you doing? But let me say this as we pray that as you build, you become. I remember that I've always had a heart for community. In fact, this ministry started as community. I always, I don't know why, I feel like there's a place for everyone. And that's why when you find your place, there's no need. Remember what I taught us, you must know where your PPA is, your place of primary assignment, your place of secondary assignment. You must understand it. No matter how much I was going for programs then in Fountain, I knew that Fountain of Life Church, Pastor Tayo Duka was my covering. And the same way I know that Fountain is my primary PPA, Bethel is my close net circle, almost next to my PPA. I remember when I went to Bethel, from the car park, people have been shot. They will just look at you. I, it's your first time, right? Can we take your picture? And it blew my mind. I'm like, I don't understand. It's no signs and wonders that will blow your mind in Bethel. It is love. It's palpable. You can literally touch it. And I was saying that, man, when my husband went, I was saying, I see what you, I, I see what you mean. And I, every time I've always prayed for it, like, God, that is what I want. I don't want a ministry built around me. I don't want me. To, I don't want to be the one that ah, when she talked to me, I know the children. I was watching their sermon on Sunday. The guy that preached said, "I don't understand what's happening in this place." And that's the same message I preach on Sunday. Don't worry, we'll send you the link when you come on Monday. And I, I, I like, I don't know what's going on in this place. Like even the security guard is prophesying. Security in Bethel will prophesy. Little children, you you say I'm even afraid to go to the toilet because maybe the toilet seat will start to prophesy. And that is how it's been that so many people, so many people have been a blessing. Times even when I'm down, God will just send someone to re remind me, just testify. You know, I was saying, Kiki, we're laughing about in the office about testimony. And I said, oh, the way God has done that, PI, because we always shout, don't self-promote. So people know going to promote you, PI. I will laugh about it. But I give God all the glory. While Tosin Wilkie's, sorry, I will be, I was going to be, that's a son name. A testament is touching because I've known Tosin for over 10, like about 10 years or so, how many years ago? And it's the same thing. If my guys, my friends in secondary school, my friends in university, the same thing. And I'm telling somebody that your life can be a blessing. Forget the noise, of, forget the hype and everything. Let it really matter. And it starts from where you are. Don't get so stuck looking out for the spectacular. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, Doing mighty things, going out, you're having all the big platforms, people are calling you. That's great. 
but the greatest testimony is the lives you've touched. And sometimes you might never know. I remember Buki giving me a word years ago that your life is a ripple effect. And everywhere I've gone since then, they've given the same word about how just, and for everyone that shows up, I'm seeing how, like, literally, with three people on this call, we couldn't even do, even when we started other watch, sometimes one person that is in the watch, now other watches are having nine, ten, and I'm like, that's how we grew this 6 a.m. as well, and I just give God all the praise, I give God all the glory, I give God all the thanksgiving, that Lord, this is just the beginning, and this is to you. As we enter a new season on the 9th of February, Lord, the heavens are open over us. For everyone on this call, they will not lack a testimony. Lord, I pray as the month comes to an end, January 31st, oh God, as we transition to an ah, we will not miss out on our divine appointments. In the name of Jesus, I hear that February is the month of divine appointments. We will not miss out on it. In the name of Jesus, the divine appointments, divine consolidation, divine orchestration and, 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 and divine perfection in the name of Jesus. We will not miss out on it in Jesus' precious name of prayed. Amen. Sister, can you find, can you just sing a song, any of the songs that comes to your spirit and then we'll leave this morning. I celebrate everyone, all the team members. Thank you guys. I can't do this without you guys. Everyone working in the office, everyone, Buki, our global director for IRE, Hope 365 directorates, the board, everyone, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Second reply. Father Lord, we thank you. We can hear you, ma'am. Is your mic on mute? Second reply, I can't hear you. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we we'll bless you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Hello. We can hear you now. We can hear you now. I think our network is season. So Lord, we just, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, all the adoration. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Um, Pastor Christine, can you help us sing the goodness of God as we end the chorus? We go, go on, Me go go on no, am I sure? Oh, Baba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Me go go on no, am I Ni bo bo no baba e ma she o Ni bo bo no ni bo bo no ni bo bo no ni bo bo no Even when we can't see you oh god ni bo bo no e she Ni bo bo no e ma she o Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are grateful. In all, in every way, we are grateful. We thank you in the name of Jesus for everyone that sent their testimony um, via message. Um, um, Amaka says, I thank God for, I thank God for, for this platform, for joining spiritually. God has helped me spiritually. I'm hearing God and, it's, and the change is evident in our life, in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amaka, for always blessing us. And that lady shared about how God has, um, I'm coming, let me just read it. I just feel like those that send their messages. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Um, I, I, I joined this community during Refuel 2021. A friend sent me the link and I'm thankful to God for the community, for the word of God shared daily for growth. My people look at me and they're usually in awe. This generally has been testimony upon testimony. 
I'm thankful to God and you for being a vessel. Like every day has been a testimony of favor. I did an application to a school. I was given admission. In fact, I'm thankful for more to come. But trusting God for a spouse, my friend proposed, been, been trusting God for a spouse. My friend proposed to me, even though we're trusting God for so many things. I lost my job last month. I'm trusting God for provision of a new one. I've been sending so many applications, even doing some interview. God has filled my heart with peace. God's word in Amos 9, 13 to 15 has been my reality. I'm definitely coming back to share more testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, okay, we we'll share that. Another person was is thanking God for, sorry, please just give me a minute. I'll find it. Um, thank you, Jesus. Ademidu, God has been opening her eyes. She said she didn't know how she would join and the Lord led her to join. And um, another person is trusting God for healing. For we're just going to, I'm just going to read it. God has been, Ademidu, God has been telling me about structure since last year. I didn't get it. I felt it was for people who had a lot on their hands. And I somehow missed the session of structures by Joyce Yawushika. But I watched replay last night and there was so much light. I am super grateful. Um, I'm, I'm just about eight months old on my current job. That's from Ademidu as well. And December last year was looking like the benefits staff were usually entitled to will be cut short. And remark like, what can, what can, what can people, what people did with this recruitment? I can't remember how she was up. I started praying and God came through. Everything fell in line. Salary came early. Benefits were good. And I'm so grateful to God for that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I just decree over the daughter of Sister Folusho. She said, a daughter, a daughter, um, at one of her twins have been in admission at Safeway Hospital. So I'm going to tell you since three weeks. Uh, she wants our prayer. She was unable to swallow. Our lungs are not, we're not responding. Lord, we decree this three-year-old, four months, three years, four months old child is healed supernaturally right now in the name of Jesus. Our lungs begin to respond in the name of she's able to swallow. She's discharged supernaturally and it is well. Affliction will not rise again in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, fam. Thank you of yourself. Have a blessed day. For those asking, it's the same link you can use to join the 3 a.m. watch, all the watches, the 9 a.m. watch, the 12 p.m., the 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., 12 midnight, 3 a.m., and it is the same link. And the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Go and prosper. Remember, those every step you're taking will matter. It counts as long as you're doing what God has called you to do. In due time, you will see it all come together in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.